Hey guys, welcome back. I'm Jasmine if you're new here. Today we're doing sort of a weight loss update video, but it's going to be a little different because I've gotten tons and tons of questions and comments asking these questions over the past few months. I wanted to sit down and do a video talking all about these questions and comments and giving my thoughts. So over the past nine months, I've lost over 70 pounds with Wegovy diet changes and lifestyle changes. If you've been here for the past nine months, you've definitely seen my transformation. If you've been here before that, you know the struggles that I went through over the past ever okay like i've been struggling for nine years to get this weight off and i'm finally able to do it with the help of wigovi so i am definitely very grateful but i have gotten tons of questions about my body like body changes stretch marks saggy skin sagging butt sagging boobs um loose skin excess skin surgery i've gotten a lot of questions on these topics and a lot of comments on these topics um, I've had people ask me if I've had surgery so it's just been a lot of questions and I haven't gotten a chance to answer everyone directly some questions I have answered but I wanted to put everything in one video so you guys have a place to go if you have any of these questions I do want to note that if you want a more detailed video about my journey I do have a longer video that details the whole process I have a link below but we're gonna get into the first category of this video which is going to be basically dealing with physical changes so along with all the positive changes that will come with a weight loss journey you are going to get some not so positive or i don't, I don't want to say negative because i don't really see them as negative you are going to get some changes to your body that you may not prefer i did personally experience some of these changes but i do want to note that what you experience is going to be very different than the next person a lot of these body changes are going to depend on genetics the amount of weight you lost your body composition it's not a one-size-fits-all thing so you can't really look at the next person and kind of judge how you're going to look or how you're not going to look if that makes sense i definitely want to throw that out there because that's something that you have to be aware of i think going into a weight loss journey you definitely have to prepare your mind for these changes i will share some tips that i personally use for my changes that i've experienced i did experience loose skin i have like some sagging areas as well which i'll talk about a little bit more i did go into this journey knowing that these things may happen and i was 100 percent okay with it because to me that was nowhere near as um important or it, it didn't chart at all for me like it was nowhere on the ranking list for me when it came to weight loss like i that i didn't care okay like give me all the sagging skin i would rather not have to deal with shortness of breath climbing stairs or just feeling sweaty all the time it's just i i'd rather not as i said earlier i don't see the physical changes as negative i see them as just things that will happen and things that you kind of have to get adjusted to now don't get me wrong i definitely am working on things that i can work on self-love and acceptance is so important during this journey because it's so easy to always pick at the negatives like somehow it's always so easy to completely forget all the positive things on a journey like this one and to only focus on the things like sagging skin or smaller boobs or like these things so i think just going into the journey and practicing self-love and acceptance will help those feelings and will help you appreciate your body your new body one thing that also really really helped me was looking at it through a lens of health versus physical and for me that was really a game changer and a mind changer because i remember when i first started and i mentioned this in my other video when i first started back in like may my labs were all over the place when it came to like cholesterol and um a1c and all those things they were just wacky like so many labs were just wacky so seeing those and seeing the change that happened once i lost the majority of the weight that alone was enough for me like i could care less about any of these physical changes that i didn't appreciate because i felt like the good outweighed all of that i think that's a good way to go into it as well just going through the lens of 
the positive health changes that you will experience versus the physical ones. So let's get into the tips and tricks that I am doing that you can do as well. And if you have any that you wanna share, definitely comment below. So one area that I am working on is my booty, okay? So I don't have a lot of sagging, but I do have some and I feel I think I'm gonna include pictures, I'm not sure, but I think I am. For me, that was inevitable. I naturally held more fat in my hips and butt area. So me losing weight in that area, I felt like it was inevitable that it was gonna have some, some sort of sagging. I have been working on my glutes and honestly, in about two months, I have been seeing changes already. So I've been focusing on a lot of glute exercises. Like I'm literally going to the gym and just doing butt day. <laughs> I'm doing butt day. If I make it to the gym one day out of the week, it's butt day. Like if I make it two days, it's butt day two times. I've been focusing heavy on that because to me, that's the area that I want to see the most change in. I've also been doing Pilates, which does help with that as well. It's going to help the smaller muscles and help elongate and just make everything look nice and plump. So that is what that's what i'm doing for that area i do consume a lot of protein as well if you guys saw my what i ate in the day video and i'll do an updated one because i know you guys have asked for an updated one i do consume a lot of protein to help with that as well to help retain muscle to help build muscle early in my journey i was not consuming enough protein and that's something that you definitely don't want to do you, you definitely want to include enough protein in your diet so that you don't lose as much muscle mass. During the first half of my journey, I did focus very heavily on cardio because I just wanted to get everything off. Weight training became hard for me the heavier I got. So I was just focusing a lot on cardio, but I would encourage you to do both if you can. It's just gonna help you a lot more in the end to just have done both the whole way through. But do whatever you can because for me, I know it was a struggle to get on the weight machines. I just preferred to be on the treadmill when I had a lot of weight to lose as far as glute exercises deadlift the glute machine i forget what it's called um some gyms have them it's this machine that you get into and it works your glutes i have a picture of it on the screen but if you don't have that machine you could just use a barbell and a bench and do those those are very isolated glute machines glute exercises and they're gonna really help target your glutes also squatting um leg pressing depending on where you put your feet at like Look up glute exercises and do all of them, all of them. <laughs> and include weights. The weights are gonna help you, okay? Add weights in. I do have stretch marks, but my stretch marks are actually not from this journey. My stretch marks are actually from pregnancy. Honestly, they've been here for 13, almost 13 years. So I've grown to love them. I've grown to just know that's this part of me. I'm not gonna be walking around with a crop top that shows my abdominal area. I will wear a higher waist pants with a crop top, not like a low rise pants. That's what I personally do. Like if I'm wearing a swimsuit, I'll wear something that's gonna cover like a one piece or a higher waisted two piece. Like that's what I do. Since I've had those for the past 13 years, I've definitely grown to love them and to fit my wardrobe around them and just wear things that make me feel the most comfortable i would be self-conscious so i wear clothes that's gonna make me look and feel my best when it comes to my stomach i do have some loose skin in that area as well not a ton and for that if i'm wearing an outfit that's more fitted like a dress i will wear undergarments to help with that i don't have a ton honestly of loose skin my in general i will say my skin is pretty tight like i do have sagging in some areas like i mentioned like my butt i have like jiggly like you know little jiggle here but my skin is pretty taut in most areas if that makes sense not really too much like loose skin in that sense maybe if i lost another like 30 40 pounds i would see that but i'm not going to so We'll never know. I'll show you guys the areas that are looser so you can see what I'm talking about. I've also gotten questions about surgery. Personally, I don't plan to have any procedures done, but I understand if somebody wants to because I've gotten questions about my face. Um, when you lose weight, your face is gonna change. I've seen those questions in a lot of people who have lost weight, and I think people don't realize like there's fat on your face as well. So you, if you lose fat on your face, it's gonna look like it's going to look different. You're going to look different. I definitely wanted to make changes with my vitamins to help improve my skin in general. So I do include vitamins in my routine that helps with skin. So vitamin C, 
omega 3s um, these types of vitamins definitely help with your skin they help with your skin's elasticity and um, collagen production so those are the vitamins that I take specifically for my skin I believe vitamin a and vitamin E also help with skin so I'm incorporate those as well also water intake is gonna help with your skin hydration so you can also include that into your routine I'll have the supplements that I personally take below I swear by my new vitamin C I swear by it, you guys. When I tell you my entire household was sick over the past two weeks, my everybody, everybody, okay, kids and all, and I did not get sick at all. I 100% think it's my new vitamin C from Symbiotica, and knowing that it's helping my immune system like this, I feel like it's going to help my skin as well 110%, okay? It's, it's amazing. It's a little pricey, but I personally think it's worth it. Another area for me that is a little smaller, I, my boobs are smaller. A couple people actually did DM me about this in particular and I responded that literally that's how my boobs looked when I was 20, 21. Like that's how they look. They, they don't look too much different. I'd be lying if I said there wasn't a little bit of sagging, but not that much different, honestly. They look very similar. The things that I did back then for that are the things that I'm going to do now and that I do now, and that's wearing the right bra, getting a good push-up bra. I love certain ones from Victoria's Secret, also from Skims. Skims has some really nice t-shirt bras that do help push the girls up. If you have any bra recommendations, I'm always curious to know. Let me know in the comments because I love good bras. Overall, doing things to help improve your skin elasticity. Muscle tone is a big key to helping with loose skin and sagging skin because the muscle is going to help fill it out. So that's why I really stress upping your protein and doing a lot of glute exercises for your butt. For your arms, you can do a lot of arm exercises, um, curls, pull in pushes for the back of your arms and all these weight training exercises are really going to help fill you out with muscle you're not going to look like a bodybuilder so don't even think that but it's going to help tone you and make you look right muscle mass also helps you lose weight in the long run so the more muscle you have on you the more calories you burn in a day so i mean it's a win-win situation okay it's also really helpful to have a supporting community around you people that are going to help encourage you and be positive because girl there are so many people who are not positive when you're on this type of journey especially if you're using a medication if you had a weight loss surgery if you had like a bbl or any of those types of lipo any of these procedures that are seen as not natural which okay they're not natural we know that any of the above is going to bring a lot of negativity so you have to be prepared for that if you're going to share with anybody you really don't have to in my opinion like at the end of the day you're doing it for yourself whether it be your friends family an online community de definitely finding a positive supportive community of people that are going to help encourage you and bring positivity to a very opinionated topic okay <laughs> if you have any other questions comment down below so i can get to you but hopefully i answered everything and i'll see you guys in the next video Bye.